Well, would you look you there? Eight and a half tenths. Greener up. Looking good around here now. And even cooled off for a little bit. I think it's like 60 degrees right now. So, sitting pretty for a little bit. Well, look what's going on. Ice maker is working again. Takes a long time to get completely full. This was the problem. That's a recirculating pump. And that's what was wrong with it. So, back in business. We got Fred back hauling. He had heart surgery, so he is out a while, but he's doing good. Gordy hauling and Jay hauling all down the Valero ethanol plant in uh, Mount Vernon, Indiana. And then George is hauling to Lincoln Land from Robinson today. So I'm going to get the bin caught up here for those guys before they get back. So I'm going to start my day, week. Get this shed organized a little bit to where it gets stuff in and out and unhooked and all that stuff. Much more room. Much better. Maybe I should put it on the floor. Maybe. I'm going to come unfold this so Emery can wash it. Well, I'm coming out here to mow along our new field here by my house. Uh, it's not been mowed along here. It looks like somebody did mow it in front of the barn, though. That was the main thing I was wanting to get. They already mowed it. Good for them. All right. Take a dump truck over, do a little demolition today. Made it. That's the shit that's gonna go bye bye. As you can see, it's seen better days. got her done down yesterday just got a lot of hand picking up to do i'm gonna be throw them in the bucket then put them in the dump truck try and uh get this thing cleaned up then we'll have a nice concrete pad here anyways it's one of those buildings you either gotta old buildings this one that we inherited you either gotta fix it or get rid of it eventually because it's gonna fall down and uh 
An old chicken coop from I don't know how many years ago probably ain't worth fixing because can't really use it for much. So. Still on cleanup crew today. Okay, we're in the old house, the old farmhouse. Got Shorty here. Turn up carpet. All this, I guess, nothing matter with it, but we're tearing it up. Now this in here, taking out the carpet. So we can put in flooring. I got some wild help. All right, what's your name? I don't know. Yes, I don't know, what's your name? Not sure. Not sure, I don't know, I'm not sure. They're helping me. This is after we get done destructing. Yes, indeed. Look better before we started. Mom and Dad's house, where I grew up. Right here is the room I had till my big brother moved out. Then they let me have the corner room. I had to wait for him to leave. He took it. Took my room. Here goes the load of the kitchen. No, not the kitchen. The living room and three bedrooms going down to the burn pile. All that good carpet, orange, blue, brown. He's just going to destroy it. Whoa, looks different in here. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, camera's there if you want to take it. Okay. We're about done for the day. Mm, I just knock old buildings down so they just take out carpets. Yeah, looks a lot different. Yeah. Yeah, we just about got these rooms done. We got to do this yet, but carpets up in the living room, hallway, bedrooms. Making progress. I guess out with the old, in with the new. back to the farm this is all of our corn returns corn that we had in that we didn't use so they will get shipped back tomorrow plus with some empty pallets this is the beans we got left but not ready to send them back so always good not to have too much inventory left over didn't do too bad i don't think next up for the gin of the day had a flat tire was gonna put the spread uh the spare on but uh Lugs and studs, threads are a little stripped out, so let's go ahead and replace them. Got them off, went to town, couldn't find them anywhere. Ended up having to go in way up by Bicknell, which is another 15 miles past Vincent's S&S trailer sale. They had them. They sell Iron Bull and Hillsboro trailers and also some truck beds. So if you need any of that, check them out. Saved me today. I had already took all the studs out. They couldn't find any put in it, put any in, but got them now.
Sold them back in the grain bin. Sold some more up at Lincoln Land. Ethanol plant by Robson. So there might be enough uh, hopper actually get this bin cleaned out. So I'm gonna work on that now. And that's gonna be it for this week because I'm not gonna be working tomorrow. I'm gonna be going down to East Tennessee to uh, youngest cousin's, youngest first cousin's wedding. So go down there. So that'll be it for this week. So congratulations to Trevor and Kaylee on their uh, on their wedding. Good luck to you. I know y'all watch YouTube. So if you want your Ivor stuff, go to ivor-farms.myshopify.com. Thanks for watching. And we'll uh, see you next week. I'm back. Got it empty. One bin left. That's a new big one there over at David's, and that'll be it. Still anticipate to see how that drag works. It goes under the bottom with paddles instead of uh, the auger. So that went up to uh, close the top. He's up there somewhere. There he is. Anyways, we're continuing to spray beans. Uh, there's no chance of rain. This weekend we get to do that will be really good. It's been a nice cool week. Here in hot and dry, mostly in the corn belt, but not right here. We're looking good. We're catching our rain this weekend. We'll be looking really good. That's it.